Today we're going to simulate a 4 to 20 milliamp two wire current loop signal. We're going to use a 24 volt power supply to power our loop. Then we're going to use our SIM ALP2 to regulate it into a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. And we'll put a basic multimeter capable of measuring a milliamp signal in the loop also. When connecting your meter into the loop, it is very important that you have the leads in the correct position and select the proper mode, or it is highly possible that you will blow the fuse in your meter or do further damage to it. In this case, this meter has a 10 amp terminal, but we see over here right along with voltage and ohms, it also says milliamps. So this is the correct position, and then we will want to either put it in the 200 milliamp or the 20 milliamp position. We have wired up the 24 volt power supply and have connected a blue wire to the plus terminal and a blue wire for white stripe to the minus terminal. When doing a two wire loop, you want to connect all the devices in series. Nothing should be paralleled. If you're not sure how to connect to the ALP2, hit the power button and select the mode you wish to simulate, in our case, current two wire. And right here, you'll see the black post that says external PS plus, which means external power supply plus. And the red wire will go to our PLC input, or in this case, it'll be our voltmeter. So we'll take our blue wire and we will connect it underneath the back post. And then we will take the red wire of our voltmeter and we will connect it to the red of our ALP2. Then to complete our loop, we will need to connect our black wire to the minus of our power supply, which we have the blue and white wire connected to. Now I'll turn on the power supply and we'll switch our meter to measure milliamps. I'm going to set this one on 200 milliamps. As you see it says 4 milliamps, 4 milliamps. And as we increment our ALP2 up, it increments on our voltmeter all the way to 20 milliamps. One nice feature of the ALP2 is its open wire detection. So if, if we didn't disconnect any section of the loop, it will show open wire. So if your device is showing open wire, you need to look through your circuitry and see if maybe you have a blown fuse or that your meter is not connected in the proper position. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. We run the Automation Store. Be sure to visit our support section for more great articles and videos. And view our line of PLC cables and trainers, simulators, repair services, surplus inventory, charity auctions, and more.